Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play! <coughs> Pardon my scratchy voice, it's not long since I woke up. Skyrim! Where we're still outside... Uh, I don't even remember what that place was called, that vampire place basically. Um, which was apparently, I'm told, part of Dawnguard if you play as the vampires. Now, um, I've only ever played Dawnguard as the Dawnguard, so I didn't know about that. So that's kind of cool. We just interrupted a DLC quest for the win, but the game didn't stop us, so I can only assume it was totally fine. Um, so we're we're on our way back to White Run at the minute, doing our best not to get too distracted because that's not really been working out for us very well so far. Um, oh, and look, as as I as soon as I say a distraction, hoves into view. Wonderful. What is this place then? Uh. Oh, we've got trouble, folks. What the name? Oh, goblins. Goblins fighting wolves. I can hear us. Yeah, there's skeletons in there as well. Oh, goodness me. Such fun to be had. And a bandit by the sounds of it. Right, dead goblin. And that's a troll, by the sounds of things. There we go. So where's the troll? There he is. Never mind, troll's dead. These are some tough skeletons. Wow. Another troll. <laughs> Fucking hell. This game just does not give you a break sometimes. Knock him over. There we go. Get shot with arrows here. I don't even know what my health is. My health doesn't seem to show up when I'm on horseback for some reason. A wolf, okay. So now I'm apparently I'm I'm fighting pretty much all the wildlife in the rift once again. This place is dangerous. I mean, holy crap! <clears throat> it's not bears. It's just about everything else. Undead skeletons, wolves, goblins, bandits, trolls. All in one place, curiously enough. This is almost as bad as Oblivion. There we go. Oh, you're not dead. Would you? Please, thank you. Okay, where's this archer? There's an archer around here somewhere. Oh, there you are. Take that, thank you. Tell me that was it. Finally. That must have been all of them. Surely. Okay, I'm curious now. What the hell is this place? That it should attract a Chapel of Stendar. Such a strange collection of guardians. Would be guardians. What have we got here? Mountain flowers, which I should not have picked up. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm never going to learn, am I? Some gravestones. Well, it looks like it's be something's destroyed this place pretty handily. Dragon, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if there's anyone alive. And if there's anyone alive, should we be worried? Um... Where is... There you are. I wasn't wearing that helmet when we went into the vampire place before. And uh, frankly, I feel like I may have regretted not doing that. I wasn't doing myself any favours. Okay, right, well, there's been a massacre in here as well. Blessed Blade of Stendar. The Unseen. Oh, more vampires, wonderful. 
So if I hadn't had enough of, the, enough of them already. Um, okay. Dead Vampire's Note. We attack tonight, my dear. We have teased them long enough. It is time to show them the same mercy that they showed our family. They will suffer as our children, our brothers, and our sisters suffered for simply existing. We did nothing to them, and they repaid us with slaughter and suffering. We have hidden, unseen, by the village, by the vigilant for long enough. There will be no forbearance, no restraint. I'm curious about this sword. Damage 42. I'll just pick that up. Damage 42. Especially effective against Daedra. Vampires and the undead. Hello. Versus this one's for... Ah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and equip this for a bit, I think. That is a sweet-ass looking blade, isn't it? Check that thing out. It's much nicer than the orcish one, anyway. Mm-mm-mm. I like that a lot. I'm keeping this. Alright then, so. Vigilant Brother Turius. Amulet of Stendhal. He's not going to need it now, I suppose. Um, letter from Gwen. Mission of Cure Disease. I have a feeling I might need them. And like that torch. Um, letter from Gwen. Dearest Turius, Father Gradius is sending me to the beacon to bring aid from our brothers and sisters there. I dare not wake you as I must depart immediately. If help is to come before whatever evil is happening here grows worse, know that I love you and that I will return as soon as I am able. I will be thinking of you this long journey. Keep the chapel safe while I am gone. I have faith. Yours as always, Gwen. Right, good job, Brother Turius. Good job. You sure kept this chapel safe, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Trying to send it to Stendhal, huh? Why not? I'm hungry, apparently. Well, wow. Claudius, there, there are some strange things that, that pique your appetite, I must admit. Um, but, you know, if we've got to eat, we've got to eat, I guess. Um, some stolen bread, why not? Why is that stolen? Where did I get that from? I can't remember. Stendhal's Blessed Chalice. The chalice was brought to our chapel as a gift from the chapel of Stendar in Coral in the Imperial Province when this chapel was built half a century ago. Though the origins of the chalice are unknown, there are many references in imagery of Stendar that feature him offering a chalice, often used to represent his merciful, merciful nature over his subjects. Whether this chalice is truly the original is a subject for historians, though its symbolism for the mercy and righteousness of Stendar makes it as holy as any object truly can be. Okay. Right. I don't see any thing though. Yeah, I don't see any chalice. <laughs> Mayhaps it has been stolen. Radius is journal. Hello. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. Uh, okay, fine. Um, no reading apparently, guys. Well, let's read Skyrim with with Dave. Brother Herodin came to me this morning, asking if I was wandering through the, wandering the grounds in the dark night, dark last night. He seems to fear I am becoming old and senile. I told him I was not, but he insisted that he heard someone outside in the courtyard. I will have to see if Tyrius and Gwen are sneaking around in the night again. They are young, and it is hard to blame them for their passion, but they must learn to behave more appropriately in a place of faith and worship. Perhaps such activity is less prohibited in the Hall of the Vigilant, but while they study here, they must live by our ways. I don't think that Hroden heard the other night... I don't think that what Hroden heard the other night was Turius and Gwen after all. They swore they were asleep in their beds the entire night, as did Brother Drevin, and Nimue was away in Iverstead buying supplies. This is most curious. Perhaps... Oopsie daisy. Um... Perhaps a fox or deer got into the courtyard. This is very disturbing. A corpse from there. And let me just adjust my microphone just a tad there. There we go. Uh, a corpse from the graveyard rose out of its grave and attacked us while we were leaving the chapel. Brother Tyrius sent it back to its resting place before it did any physical harm. But poor young Nimue was scared half to death. She has only been with us a few months, and something like this is sure to have her returning home to her family. What is more worrying, though, is how this happened. The dead do not simply rise from their graves on their own. I spent enough time with the Vigilant to know what it means, but I struggled to see what necromancy or conjuration could be going on within the halls of the chapel. Uh, there are a few 
enough people here and not one of them is capable of such magic. I have ordered everyone to stay indoors after dark and sent Sister Gwen to Standar's Beacon to seek assistance from the vigil. Another corpse arose last night. That's three in, in, in total now and it's becoming more frequent. I can feel the stench of necromancy in the air and something else. Something I half remember from my time as one of the vigilant, although I cannot quite place it. Sterndar's mercy, we have barricaded ourselves and started inside the chapel. The dead roam the courtyard in, a, in great number and a fire caught in one of the bunkhouses. Brother Tyrius and I were already in the chapel and Drevin managed to fight them off a while. Fight them off while Hroden and Nimue made it in here. Thankfully no one was hurt. I can hear them scraping at the stone outside. It is a chilling sound like I have never heard. I have gathered our most valued artifacts and of course Stendhal's blessed chalice, so if we can escape, not all will be lost and desecrated, though frankly, I see little hope of survival. Brother Turius has suggested we unlock the old undercroft and try to find a way out through the sewers that lie below it. I hate to admit it, but at this stage it seems like our only chance of making it out. I do not know that the Vigilant will uh, make, he make it here on time. Okay, so... Apparently they were attacked by necromancy stuff. Well, vampires apparently. Um, who have been summoning the dead. The Undercroft. Well. Screw it. I cannot resist. Yet another distraction. We're never going to get to white run at this rate. This is turning into some weird road movie. Whoa. Okay. It's exceedingly dark in here, ladies and gentlemen. And I can hear skeletons. Quick save time, methinks. Lots of skeletons, by the sounds of it. Okay. Hello, who are you? Brother Hrodin. I'll deal with you in a minute, Brother Hrodin. First, however... What the hell are they? It's like they're in the walls. Iron great sword. Wow. Down there somewhere. Beyond the flickering archway of doom. Hello, we got a door. Chest. Oh, hello. I wouldn't say no to those. That's just a small storeroom. Okay. Brother Rodin, my dear fellow. How are you doing? Silly question, I know. Good leaks. Well, you know, waste not, want not. I'm a little low on food at the minute. Nord mead, maybe not. Okay, well, no. I, let me just double check. There's no... Behold the mighty power of the crash to desktop. A power so great that even it is capable of destroying the power of the quicksave. Oh dear. Truly a great evil did lurk in this place. Anyway, as I was going to say, I'm just going to double check there's nothing, you know, there's no journal entry thing here that I might have missed. Doesn't look like there is one, it's just he's just dead. Without really much explanation, although it's kind of obvious what happened. Let me just loot this chest here first. We will we'll be on our merry way. And I need to remember to quick say up quite often apparently. Past the flickering archway of doom. Here we go. Okay, these guys aren't so tough. Famous last words, I know, but... Okie doke. There's another one down. I don't know why I'm checking these guys. They, ne they never have anything useful. Alright, here we go. Here's another one. Whoa, okay. You're you're a big nasty fella, aren't you? Okay. 
still, I'm kind of pleased with how I dealt with those skeletons, actually. Um, it is a shame, though, I don't have any kind of light spell or anything, because I'd rather have a shield than a torch equipped, frankly, but never mind. And I'm sure we on the shadow of a doubt that someone, at least, at least one person will be going in the comments right now, Jingles, why don't you install the... So, and why do you want to install the, the, the wearable wearable lanterns mod? Because I get like a comment about the wearable lanterns mod on pretty much every every day, at least one every single day, um, on one of my Skyrim videos. And at this point, it's kind of got to a point where I'm just sort of not installing it just to annoy people. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's have a potion of healing and red water skooma. Oh yeah. Apparently, if I had drunk that that quest, like the little area, like would have gone completely differently. Like something cool would have happened and stuff. So I'm just kind of a shame I didn't take that. But never mind. What well, can I say? Claudius would not be interested in taking skooma. So. I don't have anything like no. All right. Okay. Uh. Getting a little bit hairy now. Okay, one down. Okay, it's all about timing those blocks, isn't it, really? Easier said than done, though, I have to say. Okay, something nasty's on its way now, because we're getting... Oh, okay, no, the battle music's over. Scratch what I said. Although there's clearly more stuff on its way to kill me. Yeah, I can see glowing eyes. Come on then, dude. Come at me. I'm already getting a bit lost, actually, were they? Let me just backtrack a little bit. The, the path went off somewhere else a minute ago. It went in here, didn't it? What does this... Okay, right. There we go. Oh yeah, I need to get some block perks, I think. Um, definitely something to be on the priority list. Do I have any perks left over? Available? Nope. I spent them all. Damn efficient with my perks, am I? Apparently. Woo! -hoo. Oh. Show yourself, foul creature. A lot of um dead ends down here. Actually, this is a very, <laughs> very old school esque dungeon. I'm getting lots of Legend of Grimrock flashbacks here. Um. May have been what they were going for with this dungeon. Oh, crikey, okay, there's quite a few of you in here, isn't there? Ah! And there's an archer, at least. At least one archer in there, too. Could I possibly... Here's an idea. Could I drop a torch on the floor and then have that light the place up? Yes, I could. Oh boy. That, that, and that would mean I could actually equip this. Ouch. There we go, that's much better at blocking than a friggin' torch. I'm gonna a quick save here before I get one shot or something. Uh, okay. Okay, there. There we go. Okay, you're a little tougher than your friends, aren't you? Never mind. Dealt with. Oh, good timing. Excellent timing. Right, um... Let's go with some stamina, I think. Right, let's see. Sm oh, smithing. Mm -hmm. Smithing. Principles of smithing. 
dwarf and rigging. You can now work with a mysterious dwarven metal and forge it into armor and weapons as well as improve it. Ooh. Meltdown! This is one I've been wanting to get for ages. Resources are scarce and you learn to little waste as little as possible. However, right now... Okay, I can't actually get that. What else can we get though? Quick reflexes. The time interval that lasts for a while time blocking increases. That's, that would be very useful. Able to do a power bash. After successfully blocking a melee attack, the attacker deals 25% less damage for 4 seconds. Hmm. I'm going to go with this one, Quick Reflexes, actually, because I don't have Quick Reflexes and that will compensate for it somewhat. Um, I'm also going to run straight in here, drop another torch, there we go. Oh, hello, friend. There we go. Arches aren't so big and tough once you get up next to them. Oh, a chest. Hello. Good treasures. Alright, well then, this little strategy seems to have worked quite well. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Actually. Why are you not hotkeyed? Feeling a bit peckish. Again, already, Claudius, you fat bastard. Sister Nimue is dead. Oh no. What the hell? Hello, we've got NPCs down here. Gold hawker loaf or whatever. Lots of take that torch. Oh, well, I would give for predator vision. Um. Right then. Now I can just about see the floor, but not a lot else. I seem to have run into a wall. Oh, this is hopeless. Can I maybe just, you know... Oops! That was not what I meant to do. Oh, god damn it. Alright then, where are you? Come get me. Oh! Yes, yeah, someone's there, you... Deaf git. Need more light. Anyway, what I meant to do was this. There we go. That, that blocking perk made actually quite a big difference there, it feels like. Um, right. Okay, slight issue with the floor in here. Never mind. Oh, and the walls, apparently. I literally cannot see it at anything at all. That's weird. Um, right, that works. This place is a horrific maze of doom. Okay, right. Oh, okay, okay, progress, people. What have we got going on here? The unseen.
Where? Well, I mean, you, you <laughs> he's living up to his name there a bit. Um, hello? Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, eat that, you dirty vampire scumbag. Bit of a vampire theme going on, it seems, in the... Uh, on on the this channel of late, um, given the last set, couple of episodes of this and the last couple of episodes of Oblivion, <laughs> don't know why that is. It's a little uncanny. Wouldn't mind having a having light of dawn with me right now, actually. But then again, this uh, this little doodad is pretty sweet, actually. You got brother, Father Gradius. Okay, hello. Sweet rolls. Nom nom. Gradius's sack is empty. And oh my goodness me, holy urn, holy pit. Oh, hello. Uh, huh. The unseen. The Daedric dagger. Thank you very much. Ebony boots. Ebony gauntlets. Hello, oh, old chapel sewer key, steel bolt, um, the unseen's journal. Why was he using a steel broadsword when he had an ebony dagger? Mm -hmm. The unseen's journal. Okay, well, and let me just let me just you know, just uh, you know, just for safekeeping, you know. Um, so yeah, yeah, safekeeping. Um, hmm. Carrots. Um, no. Right, okay, so. Ebony boots and gauntlets, eh? The only problem with ebony boots and gauntlets is they're gonna look really weird, aren't they? Like, they're gonna be amazing stat wise, but they're gonna look really daft, aren't they? Well, I don't know, it's difficult to really tell, though, actually, down here in the dark, I suppose, but. Whatever, I'll wear it for now until we get outside and outside and suddenly realise just how ridiculous we look. Um, sorry, I'm one of those players that values his character's looks over actual stat statistics. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, let's see. Let's, let's see about this journal here. Lots of journals. People keep being lots of journals in this place. It's very, very peculiar. Um... For years we have lived in isolation and solitude in the mountains between Morrowind and Skyrim. We had yet you still managed to find a lot of ink and paper, apparently. Um, we harmed not one man or myrrh and lived in peace for decades, as hard as it is to do with this hunger and this yearning. And yet, our suffering and isolation was not enough for them. They came in the day when we suffer most, the Vigilant of Stendar, they called themselves. In service of the God of Mercy, they come here and show none. While my family pleaded and cried out, they came upon them with their maces and their steel and spared no one. My wife and I escaped into caverns in the mountains unseen, and so they do not hunt us, but they, but we, we still suffer. Every day the screams of our brothers and sisters, our children and our grandchildren echo in my head. I cannot sleep, and it is getting harder and harder to remain in control. A hunter chased a fox into the caverns today. I could not stop myself. I took an arrow to the shoulder, but it did not stop me. I could not even feel the pain while I drained his life from his body. See, see, that's yeah, that's the problem. You wonder why people come after you, and and then you do that. Um, I drained his life from his body. I thought I would feel guilt or remorse, but I felt nothing. Whenever I thought of the life that was lost, all I could see was my own children's bodies burning in our home. My dearest and I feasted that night. And the magic in us is growing now that we have given in to ourselves. It comes naturally, and does not need to be taught like the mages would have you believe. I raised a dead deer to life today. The control is a good feeling. Two of the vigilant were seen in the forest today. We killed them both with great pleasure. They came from a chapel in the forest of the rift. They came hunting, hunting, in, hunting us and our kin. Killing our family was not enough for them. Killing theirs is all I can think about. We have stalked around the borders of their little chapel for a few nights now, remaining unseen and unheard. My power feels immense in this place. So many graves, so many bodies. 
They have barricaded themselves in the chapel. We will break through and we will chase them down when they flee. We will show them no mercy. Ugh, oh, charming fellows. Charming fellows. They all need to die as far as I'm concerned. Um, chapel sewers requires key, which we have. Hooray. No one. Oh. Crazed sewer dweller. Um, I'm really not interested in crazy old tramp. Go on, skedaddle. Oh, for heaven's sake. Hey, have you had enough? Oh, he's definitely had enough now. <laughs> Crikey. Tomato soup. I'm not going to take the hobo's tomato soup. So what the hell was he doing down here? Mosquito. Listen to the clonking, thumping these boots are making. Well, oh, my god. <laughs> This is where he was living. Wither shins. Oh! There was a skill book. And he was chairing down in some skeever, apparently. Ugh. Interesting. Oh, apparently that's the only way down. Curious. Quick save time. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy sh... Okay. Ah! Oh, that's just great, isn't it? Oh, 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 no. No, 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 look at that. Ugh. Great. I'm swimming in sewage. Giant. Those are some very big mushrooms. How I'm managing to stay afloat in all this armor, I have no idea, by the way, but still. Should have drowned then, by all rights, but anyway. What in the name of... Okay, that wasn't expected. Um, I'm now, like, at least a couple of miles below ground. Fantastic. My horse must be wondering what the hell has happened to me. I'm only going to pop into that chapel for five minutes. Oh, God! Jeez, this is what happens. You see a chapel, you know, with some skeletons. You decide to investigate. Next thing you know, it you're in the freaking underdark. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe I wasn't as far down as I thought I was. Move towards the light, Claudius. Okay, wait a minute, can I even get out here? Or is this just teasing me? It's teasing me, isn't it? Uh, oh, wait. Okay, right, gotcha. <laughs> Dumbass, right. The chapel well. Wait, are we literally going to climb out of the well? Well, quite. Dudentish. The cow is one of Skyrim's most common domestic animals. It provides the native Nords with meat, milk, and furs. This, I am glad to know. Not. Alright, okay. Whoa! More flipping artillery. This place seems to be full of the stuff. Okay then, so, well. 
And that's it, pretty much, isn't it? I guess. The, the, uh... We killed that guy down there. The, there was a dead vampire in here who presumably was his wife. There's a skull floating in midair. And, uh, well, okay. Bit tragic, then, really. There doesn't seem to be anyone who... Apart from maybe that sister Gwen who went after the beacon. Who survived this. Hmm, huh, well, anyway, an interesting detail, nonetheless. That... Ebony, I'm still not entirely sold on, but whatever. I'll, you know... I'll roll with it for now, I guess. I don't know, I'll let you guys decide on that. I'm, I'm sure it'll frustrate some people to no end if I just go back to wearing my steel, but... Ugh. I don't know, something about those boots just looks weird. I don't know. Gauntlets I can just about deal with, but the boots? Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, that's all for me for now today. Ladies and gents, I'm a bit pressed for time today, so I apologise for the less than, well, you know, it's probably still a fairly long episode, but not as long as maybe usual. However, press for time. Got a live stream to do in a few hours, so yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching, everybody. And next time, when we rejoin Claudius, we will hopefully <laughs> finally make it to White Run, provided we don't into run into something else like this. I don't have high hopes, frankly. <laughs>